All right, so this is something that we're doing a little different. We're getting ready to change up a lot of things. So one of the services that we offer is a done for you holding company service where we set up your holding company, set up your operating company and get into a deep dive with you on your business banking. The links below. All right. I need to talk about this. Um, I'm beginning a lot of comments, getting a lot of messages about the passport broad thing. Number one, are there men with money out here traveling the world, living their life in foreign countries? Yeah, there are. But the reality is the number of men who are doing it is quite small. And everybody wants to have this conversation about getting a passport, going to a foreign country. And let me go ahead and say this. If you want to live in Thailand or Cambodia or the Philippines or any of these places, knock yourself out. Uh, Cause I'm going to tell you as someone who spent six months in Japan years ago, uh, to me, I consider Hawaii a foreign country. I was there three years. I've been to Paris, Germany, London, uh, Portugal. Is it Czechoslovakia still a country? I don't even know. And I've been to Guam. I've been to Brazil. I've been to Colombia. I've been to Australia. I've been literally around the world. And fortunately, I was really, really young because right now, um, if I have three trips a year, I'm good. You know, if travel's your thing and you like to travel and you like to go places, bless you, knock yourself out. But I, I've had a lot of people who want to go ahead and they, they have an issue with my perspectives on plas passport bros. Number one, they ain't that many. That's a fact. You can argue with me all day. It's like people want to make out like there are millions and millions of people out here who are doing this passport bro thing. Um, if they are fine, because let me go ahead and tell you what I plan to do and what my mission is. My mission is for the people who want to stay here in America. And, you know, someone used this term, go where you're treated best from the nomad capital. And I, one of the things is I have a friend who happens to be white, who has been living internationally. And this person is a multimillionaire and he has several companies and he's been living his life, but he's extremely rich. Um, he doesn't live the passport bro lifestyle. He lives the passport man lifestyle. And like, like I said, if you want to leave here, leave America, you want to be gone, you want to do your things, knock yourself out. But here's what I'm planning on doing. Um, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to travel when I was younger. I'm glad that I got to go to Japan. I'm, I'm glad that I got to go all these places. It was curious. It was fun. It was introspective. I would say travel. Go ahead and get you a passport and travel. You will enjoy yourself. However, let me go ahead and say my whole perspective here is to train people so they can live well here in America. That's my perspective to train people so they can live well here in America. Like once again, if you want to go to Portugal, you want to go to Cambodia, knock yourself out. Go, go. I'm not saying don't go. But what I'm saying is here in America, things are getting pretty, pretty bad for average people. If you're an average person, it's going to suck. This is the reality. The average person cannot afford to buy a house. The average person cannot afford to buy a brand new car. And this is not going to change no time soon. It's not. It's going, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So for the people, and this is something I recently did. Uh, I did a consulting gig for someone who was multi-apping. And she, I will say she, she works seven days a week. She works 12 hours a day. She does two to 2,500 per week. And then she's got her biggest cost is gas. She spends like 30 bucks a day. So she spends about 800 bucks a month in gas. And, you know, we went ahead and set her up. We got an LLC. We got her own ADP and all this other stuff. And this is one of the things that she really impressed me was she says, I don't plan on working like this the rest of my life. It's like while it's here, it's an opportunity for me to get this money because, you know, she's doing like nine to ten thousand dollars a month gross revenue and you know she's living with her parents 
Let me say this again. She's living with her parents and, you know, she kicks in a little money to help her parents out. But she's like saving like a maniac. And this is the thing that you're going to have to do to be able to excel in America in the future. You're not going to be able to get by with a regular old job working regular old hours. It ain't ain't happening. And this girl, she's like 26, 27. So she's full of energy and enthusiasm. And she's more importantly, she has a goal. She has a goal. And like, like I said, my whole mission here is to inform you guys what's going on, what's happening. Um, You know, the things are just getting really, really crazy. Like, let me share a story with you. I went to the bank the other day to do some stuff. And whenever I go to the bank, I'm there for an hour to an hour and a half. You want to know why? Because the scamming is at an all time high and the scamming is going to get worse. And the, the the whole checking and verifying and going through this stuff and and the banker had to call someone to do the things I needed done. And I'm just sitting there and you know, in the future, having a business that cash flows is going to be your way out. That's just going to be your way out. I mean, I know a lot of you disagree to think that, you know, you can hack your way or do this, do this and set yourself up on all these different things. But the reality is for you to be financially sovereign. Let me go ahead and define what financially sovereign. Let's say your name is Sylvester. Sylvester, you have a car that's paid off. You have $30,000 cash money in the bank. You have no debt. You have no children. You have no wife. You at that point are financially sovereign. You've got cash money. You don't have a lot of debt. This gives you options, gives you tons and tons of options. So one of the things that you really, really need to look at in setting yourself up is to look at your options. Like once again, if you want to leave, because I have someone that's like, you know, let's do an interview. And I'm like, we're, this this is probably going to be the last I'm talking about, because this is one of the reasons that people are failing. It's kind of like this guy who's 45 years old and still has a dream of getting signed by the record label for his rap career. You know, once again, if you want to go ahead and do passport bros, you want to leave the country, you want to do all this stuff, knock yourself out. But I am not going to devote my channel or get into these conversations and talking about it because everyone wants to flee the pain of being successful in America. And I'm going to say this, and this is going to sound like me pissing on y'all, but I don't care. At no time in America has it been easier to make money. At no time, in no time in history has it been easier to make money. And I'm for the folks who want to make money here in America, who want to build companies and then have the option to do what they want to do with their life. That's what I'm here for. And I'm not going to get into this whole passport, bro, and back and forth and all this other stuff, because we're going to get into some deep stuff. Um probably November in the man program, the man program. And also with the man program, I'm going to let the sale roll until the end of the month. And one of the things that you can really, really do. And one of the things you can really, really set yourself up for is to do the man program and to set yourself up financially. Cause one of the things we're going to talk about is all the financial stuff first, and then we'll get to the adult stuff because essentially with all my escapades, I never let a woman get in the way of me making money. If I was going to be able to go out and make 2000 or see this chick, I was going to go make that 2000. I wasn't going to see this chick and I will see her after I made the 2000. So this this is one of the big focuses that we're going to do on, because one of the things that we need to really, really focus on is the things that are in our control. And you can start a business. You can work hard. You can go ahead and do that. And this whole passport bro thing. For most of y'all, it's a fantasy. I'm going to say it. For most of y'all, it's a fantasy. I'm going to tell you why. Because you are who you are. You know, when I lived in Hawaii, the first two years were great. That third year, I couldn't wait to leave. And, you know, being in Japan for six months, it was experience. It was exciting. It was experience. I learned a lot. I got to. And once again, I'm not saying don't travel. But what I'm saying is be real, because 
essentially for you to go ahead and do this passport lifestyle, you have got to get your money right first. And I've watched enough of these passport videos where they're telling you, it's like your money ain't straight, don't go. They're telling you not to go because essentially you will find yourself going to the American embassy to get a plane ticket home because you broke in the foreign country. I want you to think about that. I really want you to think about that. And I've had a lot of comments, people talking about my me seeing this guy visiting his friend in the jungle. OK, let me go ahead. As someone who's been to the Philippines to live well in the Philippines, which is cheaper than living here in the America, uh, you're going to be at fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred U.S. dollars per month to live there, to live in the Philippines. And guess what? It's going to get more and more expensive to live abroad because they're like, oh, there's these Americans are coming. They're bringing these dollars. Let's go ahead and up the price. And it's going to get more and more expensive. So the more people pile into it, the more people jump into it, the more expensive it's going to get. And once again, I'm all about facilitating you to be able to live well wherever you want. You go ahead and build your business and you get your company going and you want to live in Thailand for a year. Knock yourself out. Um, I'm, I'm getting ready to leave Buckhead. You know, the first year was great. The second year was hell. And, you know, I, I may or may not do a video about it, but I am getting out of here because I had some thoughts about what it would be to live in the city without actually living in the city. Now that I have lived in the city, some of the things I thought were true. There were some things I had no clue about. And that's one of the reasons I'm getting ready to get out of here. Um, so one of the things that you have to do and one of the things you have to look at is setting yourself up to be financially sovereign, be free to live and do what you want to do and be free to enjoy your life. I'm not against that, but I am not going to sit here and paint this fantasy picture because number one, I can tell you 100 percent that the majority of you do not have your income right to go live aboard. And that's why you see all these comments like, hey, I went to Thailand. I went to Thailand for a month and I came back. You see that constantly. Oh, I was here for a month. It was great. Then I came back because your money ain't right. And that's something I've been talking about for the last 15 years, getting your money right. So, you know, please don't message me. Don't email me. We're not about to get into this whole passport conversation because it's a fantasy for most of y'all. Just to be real, it's a fantasy. So. For the people who want to get into the man program, the sale is still going on. The link's below. That's all I got for you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.